Hi guys, so if I look a little bit crazy, it's because I have a scholar mask on my roots and I am doing a review video on that, so never mind. I just wanted to do this vlog here of uh, unboxing of the package that just arrived today. So I did not really have time to be all dolled up. Anyway, let's focus on the package from Rose Gal. I'm going to open it now in front of you and show you what's inside. So I picked them all on sales. So yeah, I have these three. A jacket, coat and a sweater. So let's start from the sweater. Okay, so this is uh, actually the same model of the sweater that I already have. I have it in white and it has like floral embroideries. You might have seen it in some, some of my videos. I really liked it, so I ordered it in this um, burgundy color because burgundy is like color of the season and uh, I have some pants that are high-waisted, so I will definitely use it a lot. So that's great. I will actually show it to you in uh, maybe another um, footage where I will be a little bit more presentable. But I'm just so excited to do this unboxing bit with you. Okay, so here is the coat. Oh gosh, let me see if it's going to be uh, if it's going to be big enough because it's actually size large and it looks quite tiny. This looks like extra small. So let me try it on. And I'm loving the print, guys. What do you say? Yeah, it looks good, I think. I think it's, it's my size, definitely. But it's not large. It's definitely not large. Um, and it has like a belt here. I guess it goes like that. <laughs> I think I look like crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I'm super super pleased with this one actually. And it was super cheap. I will tell you the prices later when I gather everything. And another jacket that I ordered in a size large. <laughs> My little son is throwing things on the floor. It's this one. And I think the size is going to be great. I was a little bit worried, you know, that they will be a little bit too big on me because I usually order medium. But it's fine, but... It does have short sleeves, so what is this? Like three-quarter length. Okay, I will try it uh, in front of the mirror and, and all. Um, these jackets, uh, however, uh, I cannot wear any like bulky sweater underneath, that's for sure. And I do have something else. Let me see. Yeah. These are very nice earrings, like tassel earrings. And they are going to be uh, great with the sweater that I showed you. I think that's all guys. But I will show you more things that I got from Rose Gal uh, over the past couple of months. So it's going to be like Rose Gal haul and review and everything. <laughs> and now we really have to wrap this part up because our son is making a mess in the kitchen. Bye! <laughs> Hi guys, it's Sonia Verardo here from TrenchCollection.com, fashion, beauty, lifestyle and my related vlog. In my today's video I'm going to do Rose Gall yeah. try on haul. Uh, basically I have been working with Rose Gall uh, for quite some time now. On my blog I was writing reviews for them, so I thought I would gather all these items and show them to you in a fashion haul video. I haven't done a fashion haul video in a while. Actually, I did toddler fashion haul, so I will put the link down below in case you want to check it out. But uh, yeah, uh, this is my first fashion haul uh, in a while, so I hope you will enjoy watching it. First, I'm going to show you the items that I got uh, recently, like last week, and then I'm going to show you some older items that uh, I've had for a while. Um, and some summary bits as well. So, first is this 
um, lovely uh, cropped sweater um, and it's lovely I like the model I love to wear it uh, on top of my lace cami um, and then I just put my high-waisted pants and it looks great and burgundy is such a trendy color this season plus I love <laughs> I love to wear <laughs> burgundy all year round especially in fall and winter days <laughs> then I spotted some really lovely outerwear and as it's getting chillier and chillier outside I thought um, I would you know just go ahead and order some bits um, for the colder days um, it's my first time ordering outerwear from Rosedale. I usually always order sweaters. So I got this coat uh, and uh, it's a plaid coat and I absolutely love it. I'm really impressed by its quality and the price was super super convenient. Um, I actually ordered it in size large, go figure, but it looks as if it was extra small honestly. So if I uh, wear a bulkier sweater or a very heavy knit, I don't think I would be able to um, close the buttons. But, you know, it's really nice for those uh, colder fall days, not for very, very cold winter days. Actually, in many fashion stores, high, uh, high street fashion stores, you can now see um, shirts of this print and coats and little jackets and whatnot. So I think this is such a great buy. So guys, if you hear some very distracting noises, I'm really sorry about that, but my little one is running around playing and it's a miracle he's letting me film this video. So just please bear with me if the way it is right now. He's very, very loud and playing his games and destroying the whole house. Anyway, um, another cool jacket that I got is this one. It's a little bit shorter. And again, this is size large, but it's actually extra small European. And it looks fantastic with jeans, with pants, uh, skirts, with everything basically. I absolutely adore it. I'm so happy that I ordered this one. So I can really, really recommend it to you. However, I noticed that one button isn't really uh, working properly in terms that it's a little bit harder to um, to button it up. I don't know what's the deal with that. So that's it. Really really cool little jacket. So this is something that I picked a few months ago um, and the price was really really nice. It was like $4.99. Um, it says wifey and it's just very cozy like oversized white sweater. Um, however, I'm not a big fan of this type of neck and uh, also um, the quality isn't really the best it's not cotton it's some kind of um, polyester so you do sweat a lot in this one and uh, this um, wifey uh, logo actually already started fading and they washed it just a few times so it's something that i'm definitely wearing for when i'm around the house for lounging, uh, when I want to be comfy, but it's not anything that I would wear, you know, outside in public or at work. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. And then another uh, sweater that I picked uh, in the same order uh, is actually this grey one. And I'm very, very happy with this one. It's just a lovely little grey sweater. Uh, one thing though is that it has a little hole here on the shoulders and I just noticed this so I need to fix it ASAP uh, it's not going to be difficult just with a little bit of um, grey um, thread and the needle but I need to find time to do this gosh anyway um, it's very very cute sweater um, and another sweater that I really like is this one um, I'm very very pleased with this one um, it's such a lovely model and such a nice color and uh, I really wear this a lot, uh, again with these fall outfits because uh, the color is just perfect. Um, then I have a pair of pants to show you and these are actually jeans. And it was my first time ordering jeans from an uh, Asian website. Uh, I'm always a little bit skeptical because um, I fear of the sizing. <laughs> the fact is uh, when you order 
tops and sweaters, even if they arrive large, it's not a big deal, you know, you can wear them oversized, I mean, you can make them work, but if you uh, make a mistake when ordering the um, size of your pants, there isn't really much that you can do about it. I ordered these uh, jeans in size medium, and I really like them. Uh, but uh, unfortunately they don't fit right. I mean, uh, they seem to be my size, but there is something wrong in the upper area. To me personally, it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to try and um, film for you how they look on, so you can draw your own conclusions. And please leave me your comments. I would really appreciate your feedback. I would really appreciate to know what do you think about the fit of these jeans. Should I keep them or should I just give them away? Uh, do they look good on me or um, are you seeing what I'm seeing? And I think they just look a little bit weird in this uh, upper like crotch area. I'm not sure but like belly and crotch area I think it's a little bit loose and just looks a little bit weird in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So I would really really like to know what do you think about it. <laughs> I appreciate your comments. So this is one sweatshirt hoodie that I really like and I think this one was in a size um, large or medium, let me check, uh, medium. This one is supposed to uh, be worn oversized and I really like the quality of this one. I like the combo of colors and I know for a fact they have um, different color combinations of this particular model. It's very cozy and I just love it. So this is definitely a hit in my opinion and uh, one of my favorite items from this haul apart from the outerwear and um, the knitwear sweaters that I showed you. The last sweatshirt hoodie that I purchased is this one. It had really good price. Um, it says nothing with some roses. I like grey as I've told you. This one isn't uh, that thick of a material but it is warm because it has like fleece inside. So it's again very cozy. It's not cotton, I don't think so. But um, I don't think it's causing me to sweat too much so I do like to wear it. Uh, however, these two I will need to fix because um, it came with this uh, little hole. Basically the stitching, uh, they didn't sew it properly. I will do my best to fix it in a way that I can still wear it uh, outside. If it's too visible, then I will just you know, keep wearing it for lounging around the house. Um, and now I'm going to show you two last items and they are summary items, so that's why I kept them for the end of this video. Uh, so I think they are both very cute items and they were super cheap so both I would wear for the beach uh, this is like a white summer lace dress uh, and it's very very short I would either wear it as a beach dress uh, like bikini cover up or I would wear it as a top uh, with leggings it's a little bit see-through uh, but it's it's really lovely. And then the last thing is this colorful romper. Let me show it to you a little bit better. Again, this is something that I would wear on a vacation, summer vacation, as a bikini cover-up or um, in a tourist resort. I don't think this is really appropriate for anywhere that isn't the beach. Perfect uh, little romper for going to the beach, floral, uh, lightweight, um, lace on top. I think it's super, super cute. And as far as the jewelry bits, I will show you the up close footage or photo right now. Uh, so my thoughts on their jewelry, as I've said, I like it because they are very inexpensive and you can find very trendy pieces. It's good custom jewelry, however it's not super great quality in terms of it will last you for years and years and years. Rose Gull is somewhere you can shop for very trendy pieces that are in right now. Um, and uh, many high street fashion stores sell those uh, jewelry bits for much much higher prices so it's really good if you are into accessorizing your outfits if you want trendy pieces um, as far as shipping I always go for standard method so that's how I got free shipping 
and uh, also I look for their deals and promotions because often they will have coupon codes um, for a little bit of discount. Yeah, I would say go for their outerwear, go for their sweaters, look out for their deals. Yeah, I hope this video was interesting to watch and please let me know would you like to see another fashion haul soon on my channel. I know I haven't been doing fashion hauls um, so, so frequently as I used to. It's a little bit because my lifestyle mm. has changed. I don't shop that often anymore. Mm. But I do have um, some bits that I purchased at H&M over the past couple of months. So if you would like to see that, please uh, leave me a thumbs up and your comment uh, request and mm. I would be happy to film mm. this as soon as I find a little bit of time. And now I have to go and uh, distract my little son who is about to tear my kitchen down to pieces. <laughs> Bye guys!